Well, good evening wherever you are on this most pleasant evening. As you can see, there's been a, a terrific atmosphere here. There is great expectation, excitement, and it has built nicely in these idyllic conditions, conditions which are certainly playing their part in creating a glorious ambience. It's quite a struggle to get in here, points of access hard to come by, and an awful lot of people gathering to get through the gates. But regardless of that, there's a great feel here and much excitement for the game ahead. Everything a brilliant shade of red here, even indeed the outer skin of the stadium when its mightiest occupants are in town. It is a true heavyweight clash. Well, the atmosphere, Peter, certainly doesn't feel like a friendly. We all know about the quality we have on show here, so I hope that the crowd demand as much as they can get, and I hope the players will oblige on that. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Ball is over the line. Oh, that's a key interception. Lobotka. Looks to the other side. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Well, Peter, Kvartskelia is a player who can do some serious damage. He brings a, a lovely intensity to that left flank and, and thrives on getting into half spaces. I think his biggest strength is his footwork, his ability on the ball. He's just so skillful at going past defenders and getting good delivery into the box. This guy is really one to watch out for. OK, interesting. Footballing with usually identifies with running room, and we've just seen a prime example. They've played it short. In with a header! Oh, should really have made more of that. That definitely had the element of surprise to it. Clearly came in when no one was expecting it, and it was drilled. Musiala. Lima. Oh, lovely bit of skill. Bayern Munich still without a single shot on target. Out for a throw. Romani spots it and intercepts. Politano. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Encouraged the pass with an intelligent run, but the pass just lacked pace. There's the hit! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. And now a sudden chance to counter. Chance! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Guerrero. Oh, they could be... And the finish! Goal! Napoli! And it's Napoli who take the lead. And it has to be said, an absolute gift. The goal score for Napoli after 29 minutes is number 21, Matteo Politano. Napoli break the deadlock. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this.
And it's Kane. Sané. Hits one. It's come back out. They've done it. And once more, we are all square. You score, we score. Yeah, they say that fortune favours the brave, and we've just seen an example. This team has real personality and character. And he's only too grateful to capitalise on the keeper's misfortune. Well, listen, last line of defence and you don't get it right, then you're paying a visit to your net. Bayern Munich grab the equaliser and we're all square. Well, they just couldn't have responded any better, Peter. Yeah, there's the old cliche about how teams can lose focus after scoring, but you still have to take your chances. Brilliant. Now it's Kane. Sané. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Lobotka. Now it's Osime. Out to the right. Could have been dangerous, but it came to nothing. Lima. Moved on forwards. Oh, no, that was never going to make it. Kvaric, Skelia. Great work on the overlap. It looked as though that might lead to something quite promising, but it turned out that that was not the case. And he's had it nicked away. He's in plenty of space here. He's got away. Decent hit! Oh, so close to what would have been a memorable goal. Well, it's clear that someone really wants to make a mark here, Peter, and with some style too. Luta Meccano has been indicated. And the pass is intercepted. Kvaratskhelia. And he has been fouled there. And he's going to have his name taken. Well, there is concern on the faces of the players standing around him here. Lobotka. He's beaten the offside trap. Towering header. And the referee brings the first half to a close. Bayern Munich head back in at the break after a first half that has been, from a scoreline point of view in any case, an even one. Both sides have contributed in equal measure, neither looking overly under pressure from the other. And at the break, glass half full, half empty. It's one all. See your views on the first half. That was a fantastic 45 Everyone minutes of football. I'm really hopeful of more of the same yes. in the second half. So in they come for the break with nothing to separate them. The score 1-1. -1. So we're into the second 45. Guerrero, and it's Sané. And it's Guerrero, threads one in. No, that's been intercepted. 
Politano already, of course, on the score sheet. Out of play for a throw. Di Lorenzo. Oh, he's found support out wide. Oh, well played, well played. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things. Shapes to shoot! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Yeah, it's good movement, though. A bit unlucky he couldn't actually steer it goalwards. Ages and forces him off the ball. Politano, he's found a way through. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? It's loose, and there's a race for the ball. Can he finish? That's a half-decent try. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. A pretty loose pass. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, and they've got to be careful, Peter, that they don't allow their attempt to snuff out the threat now to turn into indiscipline. Shin to shin, bicep to bicep, and he wins out. Fires from distance. And the goalkeeper watches it past. Well, I can understand why his thinking was that way inclined. Di Lorenzo. He's looking to set free a runner. Politano with the cross. Neuer deals with it effortlessly. Kane running with the ball, played out to the left flank. Romani kept his eye on it, and he's there. Napoli have a free kick. Yellow or red? It is red. Bayern Munich are down to ten men. Ramani, Di Lorenzo. Oh, that's a vigorous challenge. Well, that had the makings of something quite promising, but it's fizzled out into nothing. Spread out to the left. Muller. Showing good feet. He's left it. Can he put it away? Now, who's going to be first to this? Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Substitution in progress. Napoli can now introduce the first of their substitutes. Yeah, I think he's been told to play that role of, of the tactical pivot, spraying the ball about sometimes, driving it forward from the middle of the park. 
niceties are not part of this approach. This is actually quite aggressive. He's free, he has got space. Tries a shot! And that would have been some goal. Politano may have ultimately failed in his cause, but there's a really positive reaction amongst the fans for that kind of effort. Substitutions taking place. Napoli making consecutive changes here. Well, he can certainly make his side a lot more unpredictable, Peter. You know, he has a very good eye for a pass and, and a tricky one at that. And it's Davis. Davis goes on a charge down the left, gets away from his opponents. Point blank header and the follow up. Goal! Bayern Munich! And the game is well and truly turned on its head. Some heroic goalkeeping, but even that couldn't save them this time. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Well, it's great commitment on show here. They'll be hoping now that they can stay focused and disciplined enough to hold on to this. Davis looking to get on the end of this. Great leap! Bayern Munich surely have to be commended for their drive and desire. Most teams would be taking the easier defensive route by now. That's a foul, no two ways about it. It's a straight red, he has been given his marching orders. Players have gathered round and they are clearly concerned. Well, they are now a nine-man team. Substitution. Ramani. Kane going full tilt down the left. Di Lorenzo. Davis. He's shifting through the gears here. Has a go! Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. He is through here. Kvaratskhelia! I think we're about to see a frenetic finish. Uh, no half measures from here. There yeah, won't be another chance after man. this one. Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. And no surprise, that's a booking. Kvaric, Kelia. Di Lorenzo really added the wit there, thanks to his willingness to make the run. And the shot! Oh, what a mistake! He's got the shot away! Well, he certainly wasn't in the mood to take any risks. And it's been taken short. Up to meet it! Harmlessly behind. Over to the left, he's left his man, he's had a shot, and that is it. 
The equaliser just wouldn't come. It is over. Bayern Munich have done it in dramatic fashion. A massive test of character, and they passed it with flying colours. A truly outstanding comeback by any measure. Kane voted man of the match, and deservedly so. Your reflections then, Jim. Bayern Munich had a very simple tactic to implement, Peter, and they exposed their opposition with expansive incision. And if that wasn't hard enough for the opposition, the link-up play was outstanding too. Well, that's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.